Okay, stick welding. Take one, see how this goes. We got three 12 volt batteries in series. Uh, looking at the batteries here on the right hand side, that's going to be the positive lead, which will actually be the ground on the welding. And then the negative lead, which will actually be the positive, is on the far left. I don't have the, uh, the red lead is hooked up yet, but uh, we have our helmet and then that brown tarp is going to cover up the batteries just in case anything should happen with the batteries while I'm welding. And then we have the, the, the red lead, which is actually, like I said, the ground because we're going to do, I think it's called neutral or negative welding. So that's our frame. That is the step. And we're going to be welding that crack right there and then put that tag right, a uh, little tag right there. And, uh, and we'll see if that holds. So that should be it. No good. Okay, we're going to try it again. We ground down the metal on the uh, jumper cables here because they were pretty well corroded. I was not getting a good connection, no good readings on here. And same holds true for this because of the paint on here. So I have removed paint here. I have put a little piece of copper wire here in the jumper cables and my um, vice grips to hold that all in place. And I uh, cleaned up the battery posts and um, otherwise made good contacts on those. So we're going to take uh, another shot at this. This is a Hobart helmet, by the way. Uh, creative, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's self-darkening. So let's see how it goes. Still no contact. Well, we got a spark in the helmet dim that surprised me. <coughs> but now it's not sparking me again. I think if it would stay sparking here a little bit.
Well, that definitely made a difference. It's not very pretty, but it is a weld. I think if I can get one more tack right there on that corner, that'll take care of it. Helps keep that crap off of me. Definitely gonna hold it. Go crack in. Got a little tack on the corner there. Exactly what I wanted to do. It's not 100% pretty, but uh, having never had a lesson or even tinkering with this stuff, just get a little information off of YouTube. Sure did help. Now to primer and paint it. 